Welcome back everyone to Cap TV. My name is Jordan DeLuciano and we have one-on-one -on -one action as Philip Cardigan goes up against the monster, the Dominican Destroyer, Vargas. So you have uh, two different personalities, two much different competitors here. I mean, just looking at him, it's night and day, David versus Goliath here. As Phil might want to take this one a little bit more seriously. As these antics I cannot see phasing Vargas in the slightest. Phil wet his pants? No, I think he's good. Yeah, Phil calls for I don't think Vargas does much of wrestling. I think he just does beatdowns. He has yet to be pinned or submitted here in Korea to Pro. He won the King of Cap Battle Royale. And Phil elects to lock up and is a much different size and strength advantage in favor of Vargas. And we see it there already. I mean, if I was Phil, I would just go right to the coffee cup uh, mug immediately in this match. And just get that adrenaline rush right off the bat. Most of the time, Phil gets his opponent with that one, but Vargas unfazed. Very ticklish there. Phil's approach here is, he tries to sweep there, maybe underneath there. Not, nothing happened in there. Vargas seems to entertain this for a little bit. Just a one-hand tray and nothing happened in there for Phil. Almost knocked him off his feet. And Vargas is putting a, he's going along with this. Let's see for how much longer though is Phil trying to get a little bit more ahead of steam and then down he goes. It's like running into a, a, a large building here. I think Phil's gonna need much more than just a running star here. I think he's going to need to be shot of a cannon. Oh! Phil, Phil's going to open him up here. Yeah, yeah there was a harder one there, a harder chop there by Phil, but he hasn't moved. And, and now Vargas, I guess enough is enough for the Dominican Destroyer. Got a handful of Phil right now. Oh, he's got him by the throat now. Phil looks dressed ready for the holiday season though. He's got his Christmas Christmas cardigan. And these strikes, I mean, Phil's got to pack a little bit more of a punch here to try to phase Vargas off the ropes again. And this time he walks into a shoulder. <laughs> No Ariella Nix right now with Vargas. Usually she is his mouthpiece. Because she's too busy running Karita Pro right now after Vargas beat Brian Myers. And it gave Ariella Nix the throw, but there's a stunner by Phil. Vargas backs into the corner. He's blocking that coffee mug though, and then bulldozing through Phil. So Phil might have looked for the coffee mug after the stunner, but inadvertently stunned Vargas into the wrong corner. Vargas has just been on a rampage. Just a matter of time. Oh God, watch out, Phil! Vargas into the cover, hands over the chat. No, he's not done. And now he's biting. Biting into the head of Phil Cardigan as ref Steve's got to break that one up. Vargas elects for more punishment opposed to just putting away Phil there. 
Saying before, just a matter of time before we see Vargas start aiming for either the Creed Pro TV title or maybe Bryce Donovan's Creed Pro Championship. Okay. Bill getting some advice from the audience here. Acknowledges it, but he's got two gigantic hands clamped on his neck right now. Crowd wants the coffee. I'm pretty sure Phil wants it too. He's trying to get out of this one. Vargas just throws off Phil off the ropes and right into a clothesline. Now watch out off the ropes. Here comes Vargas. Nobody home. That's the toughest amount of punishment Vargas has taken this match where he just does it to himself. Phil, looking for that coffee mug. Looking for the caffeine rush. Goes zero to 100. It's like abyss when he sees blood. Phil, he's got his mug. Vargas back to two feet though. Phil's ready to go. But so is Vargas. Clash of the Titans, here we go. Unstoppable force meets an immovable object as Phil's firing off shots. Nobody home for Vargas on the clothesline, but not much happening there on the leaping try. Phil, trying again, trying to get Vargas stunned. He's got him back into the corner. Phil marching his way in, now going with body shots, body chops make it. And he's got, Var he's got Vargas on the defensive now. Vargas trying to catch his breath in the corner. Phil going, trying to go end to end here with a big splash, and it connects. Phil off the ropes, going back at Vargas, still can't knock him off his feet. But he's got Vargas dazed though. Got him hung up in the corner. Going for another sip now. Crowd wants one more splash. Yeah. Yeah! I can't believe it's not Phil Cole for the cutter. Might be wasting too much time here, and speak of it, Vargas gets out of the cutter. Vargas, corner to corner. Nobody home, head first into the buckle. Phil, middle rope. What's he got here? Middle rope cutter? I cannot believe it's not cutter. Cardigan looking for a gigantic upset and he's got it. He needs a little bit more than that as Vargas is out before one. No count there, yes Phil, nothing. But Phil's gonna stay on him. He can't waste too much time talking to the audience or going back to the coffee mug. And up and Vargas just popped right up. Phil's looking for that rolling DDT, but he meant a fist to the throat. Phil in a lot of trouble, up and down. An emphatic power bomb by the Dominican Destroyer. Vargas victorious again. Vargas remains unpinned, yet to be submitted. Is there anyone that can stop Vargas as he signals for Karina Pro Gold? Welcome back to Cap TV. Jordan DeLuciano here, and the Karina Pro Championship is on the line. The champion, Bryce Donovan, putting it up against Mike Anthony. You see, Mike Anthony is flanked by Adam Kirkland, Xander Torres, the Rat Bastards. We saw Mike Anthony align himself with the Rat Bastards on Cap TV. And now this one-on-one -on -one match kinda can look like a handicap match because you gotta assume that Xander Torres, Adam Kirkland, they're gonna try to get their hands involved in this one and help out Mike Anthony. And right, speak of the devil, immediately, you see Kirkland, I believe, Kirkland was getting on the apron, and with Bryce's back turn, Mike Anthony's gonna start on the offense. Looks like Mike Anthony here at Creator Pro was kind of turning the 
uh, turning the table, you know, change of lifestyle was kind of cooling off and then snap of a snap of a finger, blink of an eye, he went right back to his old ways and then all of a sudden he was joined by Kirkland and Torres. Adam Kirkland, Zach Torres, the Rap Bastards making their name felt in the tag team independent scene. You watch Wrestle Pro, you'll definitely get a lot of the Rat Bastards. But now their boy Mike Anthony's hung up, but it Bryce has got to Bryce has got to have eyes in the back of his head. As Torres is occupied with Bryce and the ref, Kirkland's gonna get Mike Anthony off the ropes, and here comes Mike Anthony out of the corner. Big clothesline takes down the champ. There we go, outside leg. There's a cover and a kick out. So it didn't take long for this to turn into a pretty much handicap match. Mike Anthony can still get disqualified if the Rat Bastards kind of push the envelope too much. But so far, their distractions have been effectively utilized. Try and do whatever they can to get Mike Anthony his first gold here at Creative Pro. And then there you go again, both of them with Mike Anthony keeping the ref's back turn. Torres and Kirkland are at it again. But nobody home there for Mike Anthony as Bryce gets some breathing room. Bryce, maybe thinking a little springboard? Nope, he got caught underneath the rope. Now the Rat Bastards trying to help out. And now they gotta watch not getting disqualified here. As Bryce takes care of both Kirkland and Torres. And now Torres trying to pick his moment, and he does perfectly timed. He was waiting for the ref to be preoccupied with Kirkland. And the moment was right as Xander Torres sends the champ face first off the post. You saw some hesitancy there, and a well timed assault there by Xander Torres. Mike Anthony and the Rat Bastards have come into this match with a game plan, and so far, it has been well executed. There's the cover. Mike Anthony, off the ropes, got Bryce where he won him with a cutter. Champ is down, outside leg, Mike Anthony, not just yet. Seen Bryce Donovan one after another, whether it be outside of Creator Pro or wrestlers within Creator Pro Wrestling. He's taken on all challenges and knocked down one by one. But now he's got arguably his toughest test right now. As I mentioned before, it's pretty much a one on three, and then there you go. This tour is on one apron, and then Mike Anthony's got the belt. The Rat Bastards at it again. Ref preoccupied. Kick to the gut. Nobody home. DDT onto the gold. DDT onto the gold. Bryce, can he get him? Can he get him? And then at the last second, Torres pulls the ref out. I mean, when's enough enough? When are we going to get these two ejected from ringside? And then Kirkland getting in ring. Friendly fire. Down goes Torres. Kirkland going over the top rope. Rat Bastard taken care of. Title to the face, title off the skull. Mike Anthony trying to steal one. Ref, two, kick out. Mike Anthony in disbelief. So now Mike Anthony an inch away from winning his first championship here at Creta Pro Wrestling, but now he's alone. Rap Bastards are knocked down at ringside. Anthony calls for the end, walks right into a black hole slam. Does the champ have him? Middle of the ring, he's got him in a submission. He's put away many. Can he put away Mike Anthony? And he does. Anaconda Vice for the win, and Bryce Donovan retains. Not one, not two, but three. Bryce Donovan overcomes three and is still Korea Pro Champion. 